This is the Easy Golf Swingless Golf Club. You don't even have to swing it. No, all you have to do is push a button. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I tried to get some slow motion shots with my GoPro at 240 frames a second, and you can see in the video, it doesn't really give you a very good view of what's actually happening. One. Ah! Oh, it's put it in half! So I got my friends from the YouTube channel Kuma with a really nice camera. How many frames a second do you guys shoot with this thing? Uh, we're at 2800 frames right now. It can go up to 6,000 at usable resolutions. I'll link them below if you want to check out some of their incredible footage that they do in slow motion. We've got to get a good shot of this thing and how it works. What does the compression look like on the ball when we actually hit the ball? Just let me know when you're ready and I'll count down from three and go. All right. I'm in focus whenever you're ready. Okay, three, two, one. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> right in there. <laughs> Look at that. That was way really cool. Look at this hole. Did it make an actual hole? Oh, a little bit. It just made, no, it just left a little white mark. Did you go through? No, we're oh. good. Oh, it's still wow. fast. It still looks really cool though. I love how that pops out. I tried to keep it from kicking back, but it still kicked back. <laughs> Let's go slower. All right, so we're at 6,000 frames a second. Um, is that like 720p? Yeah, 720. Okay, so not as high of resolution, but hopefully it gets us a slow-mo shot. All right, ready. Okay, three, two, one. Oh, yeah, yes! It's stuck. Look at that! <laughs> Woo! No hole, wow. That's much better. Boom. Yeah. That is pretty rad. The golf club even goes completely out of frame. It, it kicks back so hard. But we can even, what we can do here is we can still keep the resolution. We can, as we like cut like the horizontal resolution, you actually get more frames. So if we want to go even slower, you could probably chop it down, just get like a strip right here. Just see me might be able to get up to maybe 10,000. Cool. Yeah. See that? Let's try that. Let's try that. Look at this. He's bouncing it on his shoes. It has to be so stable while I hit. You, you probably have to be careful like when it explodes, you can't jump. No, oh, yeah. You have steady hands. It's kind of like, like a sniper just. <sighs> you actually breathe like a sniper. Yeah. <laughs> That's great. Here we go. Three, two, one. Yes. Money. Didn't stick in the blanket, but that one felt good. It didn't kick back as much. Oh, that's money. See that ball bounce? Boom, you can see the ball just compress. <laughs> Have you ever shot a golf ball before with a camera? No, this is the first time. Nice. Yeah. Done eggs and soccer balls and eggs. Oh, yeah. that reminds me, I've got another thing to do. You gonna shoot an egg? <laughs> <laughs> that would be rad. So you know how people these days are a lot fancier than they used to be, like parents and stuff? And so whenever they have a baby, they don't just like say, we're having a boy or a girl. They always have to find creative ways to do it. So I've got all these golf balls that explode pink or blue powder. So these are gender reveal golf balls. Let's try it out. Let's hit one of them and see what happens with this exploding golf ball. I've been hesitant to use it with the, um, with the swingless golf club. With this driver, you really want to keep powder and stuff from going in there. You want to keep it like lubricated and nice because if it gets too catchy, the ball's not going to go as far. I feel like we've got all the shots that we need. We can now like cut this thing and open and see what's inside of it and see how it works a little bit more. So let's have a little fun with it. Let's explode some golf balls. Look at that setup over there. Okay. Okay. Three, two, one. Oh my gosh. That is like the cheapest golf ball ever. That looks so much cooler. <laughs> just happens so fast. Yeah, wow. so I need to just frame it up just a little bit or go a little bit wider and then you can, yeah. it's like the explosion mostly is 
right? Okay. Out of frame. That's sweet. The plastic yeah. breaking. Okay, yeah, let's do it again. Cool still. This is fun. This is behind the scenes. This is gonna be one short part inside of the main channel video, but it's so critical if you can get the shot. I just don't have the skills or the actual hardware and the experience to do it. So it's nice to have friends that do. Yeah. How much does a camera like this cost? Uh, more than a car is. <laughs> Body's about 60,000. 60,000, wow. Okay, ready. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Oh! Let me try it. Let me try again. Three, two, one. That one is better. That one flew better. Okay, that one had better powder in it. I feel like there was more powder in that ball. Or maybe my expectations were just a bit lower, so I was happier with it. But um, we changed the angle on this thing. Now we're going to see what it looks like. Boom. Whoa, it like it, it went bounced a little bit. I wonder if it's because usually it's set up for a golf ball that is harder. So usually it would hit it and it wouldn't kick back as much, but because it's, it's so light, like it's like a dry fire almost. All right, do we, should we John do one do, more? Yeah, we can do, John, do like a, a wide, wide shot and get you in the frame as well. On one, <laughs> three, two, one. Oh. Cool. Yeah. That's really cool. Okay, the piece is fine. Whoa, the white piece is going everywhere. That's cool. I'm glad we got that shot. <laughs> Alright, ready to go. Alright. Yeah. <laughs> wow. That's, that's power, awesome. Right? Yeah, that's <laughs> sick. <laughs> And for the fun shot. Okay, this is what we're thinking now. Will the golf ball hit by the swingless golf club shatter glass? That is the question. This is some brown looking vase. 9.99. We are going to set it. I don't know where. Maybe right there. Maybe. That's so close. And then we're gonna fire it. If it doesn't go through the glass, there's a good chance we're gonna get a very hard ricochet of a golf ball. This is probably not the smartest idea. Good news is, um, my wife left her sunglasses inside of the car, so now I'm gonna look super fancy and be safe. This has my laptop in it. I'm wearing it like a bulletproof vest on the front. This is either the dumbest or the smartest thing we've ever done. We're about to find out. All right, ready, you are. Okay, three, two, one. Oh, yes! Where did the ball went? Where did the, the ball just right here? Oh, that demolished Did the ball it. even hit that thing or did it just come right here? Good golly. Does it, did you see that? Did anybody see the ball? No. Uh, I don't even think it hit that. I don't see a mark on it. I think it just came straight over to here. <laughs> And the ball didn't go for any further. Oh, that's amazing. Wow. Damn. Those shots were incredible. Now we need to go and take this thing and cut it open and see what's inside and see how it works. But um, huge thanks to the guys at Kuma Films. Go check them out. We'll put a link in the description to them. They do great slow motion stuff. If you haven't already, go check out the video where we show what's inside of the golf driver. We haven't seen yet like how it works and how it operates inside. So I'm really curious to go and take this thing apart now. Um, yeah, fun day. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you. That was fun. <laughs> picking up the garbage for those of you that are asking. Yes, we we're picking have, it up. We just have a few more on the court, but I'm just going to go on the court right now. Okay. But the grass is clean, so kids can play here. 